Hello. I want to talk to you about a great program from Sys Internals, and I think it's a great way to spice up your videos and presentations. How many YouTube videos have you seen that started off a little something like this? It's kind of annoying, it's hard to read, and you wonder why the guy just didn't go out and buy a $3 microphone. There's really a much better way to make videos, and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is open up your favorite browser and go to the Sys Internals website. Now the address is sysinternals.com. That's S Y S internals.com. And as soon as you type that in, it does redirect you to this Microsoft TechNet website. Once you get there, look for the Sys Internals suite on the side of the screen. Let's click on that then you can click to download the entire suite. If you want to, you can just download the individual components. I'm going to be talking about Zoomit today, which is down here. And then after you download it, you'll have to unzip it and then find the file you want to run in that directory. So I'm going to run Zoomit, as you can see. It's not a very fancy looking program, which is pretty common in the SysInternal suite, but it really can do a lot of things. I'm just going to press OK, and you'll see that that goes down to the system tray at the bottom of the screen. If you want to bring that menu back at any time, you just double-click it, and it brings it back up. I'll just go ahead and minimize that again, and show you what this program can do. The first thing I'm going to show you is the Zoom feature, which is, of course, how Zoomit got its name. To start Zoom, you press Control-1. Then you use your mouse wheel to zoom in as much as you need to. You zoom in and out almost to a ridiculous level, which I do right now. But that's really just uh, one of the more mundane features of Zoomit. The more interesting stuff is that you can actually draw on the screen. Just click anywhere while you're in the zoom mode, and you can begin to draw. Here I'm drawing with blue, but you can actually switch colors. If you want to draw in green, press G. If you want to draw in pink, press P. You can also draw an orange by pressing O, or you can press R to draw in red. To clear the screen, press E. You can also tap to the screen by pressing T at any time while you're in draw mode. You can set which font you want to use by double-clicking the icon in the system tray. And as soon as you're done tapping to get back to draw mode, you'll need to press Escape. You can also control the size of your pointer by holding the control key and rolling your mouse wheel. You can make a thicker line, or you can draw it back down to a thin line. That also works for controlling the text size. Another interesting feature is the ability to draw shapes. This would work really well for call-outs during a video. To draw the rectangle, you hold Control key while dragging the mouse. To draw a straight line, you hold down the Shift key. And you, to draw the ellipse, you hold the Tab key, and you use Shift control to make the arrow. This program actually has several more features, uh, which are worth noting. If you don't want to draw on all those background images and icons, you can press K to get a blackboard. And you have a nice black screen to draw on. Or you can press W to get a whiteboard. And it's basically the same thing. To go back to drawing mode, you press Escape. You can press Control C at any time to copy the entire screen to the clipboard. I just paste it into a drawing program so you can see that it was copied. Or you can save it to a PNG file by pressing Control S at any time. Let me draw something here. Hi. X 
exclamation point, exclamation point. That's good enough. I'll press Control S and just give it a name. I'll put it in the sysinternals directory so I can find it in just a moment. And let's go ahead and open that up and you can see that it was saved as a copy of the entire screen. Well, then you can further edit that file or put it into a slideshow or whatever you want to do with it. And there's a couple of other features that Zoom it offers. There's actually another way to zoom by pressing Control 4 and you get a just a static level of zoom. You can't zoom in and out but you can continue to use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down uh, which can be very helpful if you're trying to record uh, a website or something where you need to zoom in so that the people can see it on the video but you're also going to need to scroll up and down. Now to get out of that mode you go ahead and press control 4 again and the last feature that zoom it offers is a timer you get to by pressing control 3 you can change the time by using the arrow keys and you can use this to kind of remind yourself how long you need to be talking because that timer will remain as your desktop background until you press the escape key to stop it so it's still back there you can even set it to play a sound as soon as it hits zero I'll go ahead and escape out of that and that's really everything that zoom it has to offer I hope you can see that it can really spice up your videos and there's really only one more thing I think that I need to say, but I think I'll let Zoom it do the talking.